Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. And in this episode we have brought Yashi Darnak down from Arcot to hit this Mughal Empire force that has landed on the south coast of India. And we've got a few battles to get through. Um, in this episode I'm probably going to want to try and send someone to intercept this guy right here. It's part of our maximum pressure campaign and probably something up here as well. Um, against the Mughals, uh, fight them wherever we can. So, let us destroy this force under Sikandar Singh. Yeah, we have so many armies joining the fray that uh, it, what we really need to do... Well, if we, if we put pressure on the Mughals on every front, then they will struggle to mass their, A, mass their forces on either front, and B, provide adequate reinforces to either of those fronts. So let's drop our artillery down, let's put... Oh, I know what. Ah, okay, I don't need... Okay, so I want two Israeli to deploy here. The reason why I specifically want two is because I see this terrain feature is impassable which is perfect to sight my guns on top of, because then they can't directly charge them. So then let's pick some of my infantry to sit on the flank. There we go. I'll put my light infantry on the right, although they might... Meh. The terrain isn't great here. Uh, let's put my unit of sec bands behind these guns. Cavalry on either flank. I've got heavy cavalry, which is great because I'm going to be dealing with well, another unit of sec bands. Okay, you go there. I've got heavy cavalry, which is great because the Marathas like to use um, lots of camels. And heavy cavalry is great at dealing with camels. So my field artillery halt fire. If I switch you to shrapnel shot. Okay, things aren't really in range. Okay, fire at will. My quick climbing howitzers are in range of stuff, but I doubt we've got to get to them quick enough before they fire. They all opened up on that unit of artillery, which looks like they've lost both their guns anyway. So you hit those camels, you hit those horsemen, and you guys hit a shrapnel shot and open fire on that unit of horsemen. I might even begin to push on the right. There we go. Those horsemen did not appreciate the shrapnel shot. You guys can shrapnel shot those camels. Actually, they're all coming in now, so... Okay, if they're all moving in, then you guys need to run. Lest you get caught on the hop. Okay, there they go, they're coming in. So let's pick you actually Okay, let's make sure we've got good targets. They have to run now. It's a lot of dead camel nomads. Make ready and fire. Begin engaging their camel, their um, their cavalry on the. Although it looks like.
Okay, they're just reforming a line now. They aren't actually... You dervishes. You are dervishes. Still want to push on the right, but I don't want to push right up yet. There you go, the horsemen. <laughs> okay. We're all falling back. Remember that unit of horsemen that's coming right at us. Can you go aim at that unit? Fired short. What I wanted to do was to get them up onto this ridge right here. And it looks like they are going to let us do that. And if that's the case, then let's start to do this and pull the line down. It looks like they're not... They're not really in a position to want to commit. I mean, that's the camels. Are they going to sit there and let, my, let themselves be charged by my heavy cavalry? Maybe they will. Falling down thick and fast. Okay, let's get some artillery support to specifically focus on the right flank. My Spahi charged down the horsemen immediately. You guys. Hit the general's bodyguard. Mm, is that swords meant something to watch out for on that flank? The general is going down. Yeah, the general was not going to put up with that sort of engagement. My armoured cavalry can deal with the Islamic swordsmen. Oh, nuts. There's a chunk of my... <laughs> chunk of my uh, cavalry dealt with. Too bad though, it's the, the dervishes. Dervishes aren't... are not fab units anymore. Okay, General. Yashi done it. Okay, all my field howitzers focus on the general's bodyguard because they've come back. You guys come down and charge the Sikh musketeers. You guys pivot to make sure you don't engage the Sikh musketeers. You guys all push up. Eh, charge the Islamic swordsmen. Why the hell not? These are my light infantry, but even though they're light infantry, they can all fire. So there is no problem with musket drills, and they're firing so close. Ooh, 
they're firing so close to the units. Well, the enemy units are so close to them that their high accuracy means that the rounds, even though there's not many of them, that they are going to be devastating. Devastatingly accurate. Hopefully these Seeker Musketeers die in short order. And let's take this front line. Push him up. All my artillery focus on this unit of Seeker Musketeers. Everyone switched to round shot. Engage. Okay, let's get my cavalry out of this combat. And chase someone else down. My light infantry can try and engage the Sikh Musketeers in case they fancy chasing them down. My generals here. So this flank, push up, there we go, Let's see if you guys can knock out all of these Indian mercenaries, which it looks like you can, good, don't go for the general. Go for that unit of mercenaries. Even though we haven't finished the battle, the few holdouts of infantry we've got left. There we go. Get the artillery to stop. Come on, you can knock those guys out. Try to go for the dervishes. Not, don't bother with them. They're going to flee, so you may as well get two units to try and knock out the dervishes here. There we go, we got them. That's pretty handy. Well, it's all down with the Sieg Musketeer unit, who is successfully going to flee. But it has been... A mighty victory. So that's the army to the south. God, they went from three, nearly 3,300 down to 600. March. And they are likely going to start raiding our cot because we've left you exposed. Feel free to buy some Indian Musketeers as a bit of a garrison in case my sword decides to get up to their tricks. Okay, you four, you're in range to get Hyderabad, but you're in a bit of a pickle. You're a bit vulnerable, I should say, not not in a pickle. I mean, it was tempting to go after you with this army, but I might just take a Medabad. A Madnagar, sorry, because it's, uh, it's, un it's unoccupied. If they're going to just give us territories like that, I'd be silly not to, I think. Um, okay. Well, lots of... no, to be honest, all of these guys could do with a bit of replenishment. You actually could leave Gujarat. If I put you in so the town isn't ungarrisoned, Ideally, march you guys around here and then hit them. That way we can force them up. I mean, granted, it will be forcing them towards the rest of their troops, but I find it more... I get... <laughs> I am more comforted knowing I'm funneling the enemy towards where we expect them to be, rather than pushing them away 
somewhere behind the lines where they might potentially cause more problems. They might start raiding my ports, at which point I have to divert forces to deal with them. If I push them towards the uh, where the rest of their troops are, then that way I know they, they may they may end up combining into another force. Okay, so some artillery is going to stay up here, firing at range. One unit of guns is going to trundle forward. We've got one infantry brigade there. Actually, that's almost all of our infantry, so let's not do that. Three units on the left, three units on the right. Each unit gets a hand mortar, each flank gets a hand mortar, each flank gets a janissary. The skirmishers on the right. Deploy the cavalry. General can also get involved. The howitzers open up from back here. Just keep pushing everyone up. Let's just get my howitzers to open up on something a bit more useful. These two sets of guns up here, you, you can keep focusing on their artillery if you like. You guys are all going to run because that right flank is a bit exposed. If my hand mortars getting... <laughs> if they come within range of my hand mortars that's going to be extremely devastating for them. So the Janissary Grenadiers have opened up. Hand mortars are getting in position. I'm going to put my Janissaries forward with my hand mortars behind them. Daddy Horsemen have shot. Go on, men. Go on, hand mortars. The dervishes are coming. Let's see, they stopped because the dervishes are coming. But now, volley grenades over. I mean, I think they just shot my grenadiers in the back. They definitely didn't fire. I know that much. Okay, steady horses get out of the way. Artillery to the rear, engage one general's bodyguard. Quick climb, hit the war elephants, which is questionable, but questionable usefulness. But what is useful is my cavalry mowing down the uh, mowing down the enemy which I'm a bodyguard out of there my spahi can just chase down the enemy, if these dervishes want to get in here, that's up to them. Oh, they're just, they're just levy. 
Yeah, my dirty horsemen were very overexposed on that flank. I'm not bothered about it. Get my chum out and my hand mortars over there to help out. Okay, all my artillery open up against those gunners. Okay, that's this. The right flank is dealt with. It wouldn't be a terrible idea, I think, in future just to have my hand mortars as part of the battle line, because they do get close enough. Especially against the Ottoman, they do. Reinforcements are here, but we won't really we won't need them. My general's bodyguard is here to make good use of the... You guys don't shoot, because you might just kill all my dervishes. Not my dervishes, my own janissaries. And kill a handful of our hand mortars charging through them. Everyone push up to here. Let's get over to my general. Yeah, smash into him. These bowmen. It's the main thing to remember with the. Ooh, you've actually come in in a pretty good direction. you, good sir, can also begin charging down some of the enemy. There we go. All our artillery just stopped shooting. Right, it was this infantry here that made them rowl. The hand mortars didn't even get a look in. Okay, is there... Oh, there is someone left. Silly dervishes. Okay, let's speed up time. Or is there someone else? Okay, there's probably a hidden unit of Azar somewhere. Ah, oh, more bowmen. Cavalry get over here. You guys hit the dervishes, you guys hit that unit of bowmen. You guys hit those bowmen. There we go. Damn right we're going to continue. These guys are going to stay out of it though. Let my... general do the work. Ultimately it's not really long till they all route anyway so yeah they're going to route. As are these bowmen but we're going to cut them down to size a little bit more. There we go. Lovely lovely lovely. So we did lose a cavalry unit but that's not a huge problem. March. 
it might just be easier to reload it to re to top up with another heavy cavalry unit rather than lights because that way I haven't got to worry about their camels so you men are now fairly in a fairly good position and probably want to take you is Mel Nureddin with his fairly unbloodied army March to the south, then east to Kumar Hassan. Push them back towards Afghanistan. Push Hassan back to Afghanistan. Hmm. Then I'll be three full stacks destroyed, which will be. Well, not entirely destroyed, but significantly damaged. If we did something like that every turn, then uh, they really wouldn't have a leg to stand on. You men are limber. Put my Israeli in the center. My other set of guns on the other flank. Janissary. Janissary Guard and a Nizam on either flank. This unit, this army doesn't have any heavy cavalry. Deploy like that for now. Okay, let's keep my Mamelukes together so my Delhi horsemen don't shoot the horses out from under them. Good stuff. So deploy the line out when the other flank is the same. You guys blast them with shrapnel. Oh they've got they've got mortars, that's not so great. We've got one set of mortars. It itself isn't a massive problem. I mean, once these horsemen have been taken down a peg, our right flank can push up. Our shrapnel shot's doing some real good damage. Go on, Mizam. Fire! Okay, now you can fire. Fire and load a volley onto into those horsemen. Fire! Then charge them down. Okay, the bowmen have charged. Brave. You men hit the Sikh warriors, you men hit that unit of Sikh warriors. I'm not sure, to be honest, I'm not sure if Daddy Horsemen beat Zamandari Horsemen. It looks like they are. Okay, load canister. Hoping to upset my line. You load canister and engage the bowmen. Fire! You also load canister and hit the Sikh warriors. Push up my Janissaries. Get my Mamelukes on the flank. Try to get a drive by on the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. Let's charge in. Get the 
cavalry out on the left, on the on the uh, left flank. You guys can pivot a little bit more. Push my Janissaries up. Gunners make a run for it. New men charge in the back of those pikemen. Very well. New men charge in. Get my gunners to run away. Still winning against the cavalry on the flank, but it's not. You guys set up and begin pouring fire onto that Kizilbashi. These Mamelukes make way for the artillery to the rear. You open fire on the Royal Indian Guards. These Sikh warriors, their days are numbered. You men charging on the flank there. You guys push up and hit those Kizilbashi. line up to engage the Royal Indian Guards. There we go. You guys have got a good route to knocking out them. You've beat the horsemen so you come back and fight the bowmen. Fear not, Israeli. Support is coming. <sighs> Too bad I wanted them to, to properly charge in, not just <laughs> not not just pivot. New men push up towards the bowmen. Let's get my Delhi cavalry in here. My general's bodyguard can get involved. New men hit the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. You guys hit the dervishes. Cavalry guards came back, so let's very carefully leave a lose a handful of men. You guys can shrapnel if you're if you're not bugged. Only one gun's firing. Let's just stop with them completely. You guys hit the Indian cavalry guards. Charge in. They are guard infantry, but they are depleted, so it remains to be seen how effective just blatting them with cavalry is going to be. These bowmen are withstanding. No! Not more general! What good is it pulling him out now? So you men line up, ready to face down the general's bodyguard. You continue to chase down the Royal Indian Cavalry Guard. You guys come knock out these dervishes quickly, because there's only two of them. You guys knock out the bowmen. These musketeers are holding on. Okay, you guys pivot there. 
the Mamelukes. Chase them down. General Bodyguard, chase down the Bowmen. Down right, we're going to continue. I've got a bucket of actually okay. More of good light cavalry to chase the enemy down. So you chase down the bowmen, you guys go after the Kizobashi, you guys also go after the Kizobashi. Fire it well off. Got a general's bodyguard unit, but because there's nearly nothing else except for you guys. Chase them down. Although they will escape. Yeah. Here's the edge of the map in the town. Close for yeah, it's a bit dodgy, I must admit. Those bowmen were surprisingly, surprisingly resilient in combat, and unfortunately we lost a gallant officer. So let's replenish. Kudbedin Mutafrika. You can't move up. You'd be in a great position to hit Mukara Hassan, Hansan. So I think that's all the fighting in the America in the in, in India we can do at the minute, because no one else is any good fighting spot. Let's upgrade your spice warehouse. Um, let's hop over to the Americas. Yeah. You need a bit of replenishment. Let's put, put Kyoga under siege for now. If they want to try and attack us, they can sally. The Huron are still at peace with us for now, but they will not be forever. You men have taken Jamaica, so let's make sure you are replenishing, and let's make sure Jamaica is tip-top. Let's build another Jebek. I do need to make, a use, make use of those guards. The Windward Islands. Can you guys leave? You can leave. Hop over to Barbados. Embark the army. So the sloop, you sail to Santiago de Cuba. Secure the Caribbean. March onwards. So you guys need a Jebek and the Global Trading Company. This army is going to be a bit trickier. Minus six. But minus six becomes minus three. Okay, so one more turn, really. That's all you need. Good stuff. We will take out Trinidad in, in due time. I just want to knock out the pirates first and end up becoming the dominant naval power. Let's make sure you're building. Yep, you are. Good. Okay, you are a shipyard. So let's preemptively start building some forts out of this major fishery. <clears throat> so we're not at war with the, <clears throat> with the 13 colonies yet, but we will be. Let's upgrade Newfoundland. Good stuff. So you're about to really start popping in terms of growth. Good stuff. Ah, uh, yes. Our, our agents that will soon have no purpose. Um, yeah, you've been blocked by another agent. So let's do a bit of upgrades here. 
fundamentally, now we no longer need to worry about the guarding the med, except for guarding Gibraltar. So if you guys form a grand fleet, make, make port there. You guys are still replenishing. You needed your some artillery, didn't you? Yeah, you're on your way. We've got these four armies that are all in the process of recruiting. So let's pick one of them and give them the elite infantry they need. Except I'm doing it this way, aren't I? You're recruiting light cavalry. I only, I only need light cavalry. Light cavalry and howitzers, field artillery is being recruited there. A lot of upgrades for Paris. And we have this navy here. So you build a Jebek, you build a Jebek as well. Although you are you are needed to land and take out New Spain. So this force here. Okay, you pick up some of these troops here, although you are quite heavily cavalry based there. You get get a couple more units of regular infantry. What a waste of time, I can just get it from Dresden. There we go. So I do want to hold some armies back to act as a act as a firefighting force. That's what, well, partly what this navy is here for at Portsmouth to protect the north. Craft workshop, upgrade the mine. You're going to start a long walk down to here, although fundamentally you're not entirely necessary anymore, spies. Uh, let's check a few regions. Okay, so Anatolia is nearly 100%. Islamic Crimea is still being converted. To be honest, I think we've still got a, lo a long time to go before we have to worry about converting. I mean, Ufa's converted, but you've been converted for a while. Obviously, Cairo is slowly being converted. Um, but cool, we've run out of money to do anything we've run out of stuff to do so before I hit end turn i'm going to end the episode here and things are going rather well i must admit so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the ottoman empire cheers everyone